All right, welcome to my channel. Today we're at Namba again. Um, I came to Namba because my girlfriend wanted to meet me here. Uh, there's some sort of big sale going on at some mall nearby. I don't know which one, but it might be the one that I just went to last week. Um, so I'm gonna do pretty much all of Osaka this month. And actually, I thought the Halloween I thought Halloween was this weekend, but actually it's next week. So I'm gonna come back here for Halloween, make a few videos, and then for next month I'm gonna probably be in Kyoto um, because that's when all the leaves turn orange. So I'm just gonna keep this month all Osaka and then next month Kyoto. And then December we'll do some Christmas things. Uh, there's a bunch of Christmas stuff they, that they do here. They uh, have a bunch of lights and all sorts of stuff. So we'll do that for the month of December. So right now I'm hungry so we're gonna go eat some Thai food. I mean I've been down this street so many times. So maybe we'll go in the back streets today. Because I think the, the Thai restaurant is on these back alleys. So, yeah. So, since I've been like making all these videos on Namba, I'm tr going to try to figure out where I can go that's different. Because I don't want to just keep going to the same places, but this place I never get sick of. Namba, I, I can come here every day, I can never get sick of this place. So, I recently hit 100 subscribers and I'm kind of happy about that and I'm excited. But at the same time, I know I have a long road to go. Um, so I woke up this morning and I looked at my subscriber count, subscribers count, and it went back to 99. So I'm kind of sad about that. This cool restaurant. Cool street. Pond house. Pound house? Ice cream stuff. So I never usually go back this way because the street over there in the main street is usually um, more exciting to walk through. Whoa. Man, that looks so good. Talk about the egg sandwiches at um, Lawson's. Those look really good. So I think it's like four streets down. I'm gonna check my check my map right now. There's a lot of restaurants here. Look at this. That's cool. Whoa, what is this? Spade Cat Burger. Whoa. That looks really good. Alright, so I want to talk about, I looked up my um, Facebook and, um, oh, Steakhouse. I was looking at all the news and I recently, I saw today that there was a boy, a 19 year old boy who jumped off the HEP5 building, which I've been to many times. It's the one with the red Ferris wheel on top and I was so surprised. He ended up injuring another, like a 19 year old, the boy was 19 and he ended up injuring a girl. And um, she's unconscious in the hospital now, which I thought was so crazy, cause I don't know, I could have been there. But I think it happened during the weekday, so. So you just see a bunch of these secondhand shops here that sell like Louis Vuitton and a bunch of other stuff. Well, oh, that's cool. I always wanted one of these. I had, a, I have a fake one of these. That's not bad. Five hundred bucks for that ring. Originally two thousand dollars. Oh, I really want that. Okay. Then we have some Omegas. Two thousand dollars. Dang. If I ever make it, I'm coming back for. I'll get both of these. 
<laughs> I think I think even now like if I made a lot of money I would still buy these secondhand brands but if I was born rich I probably would probably buy brand new but if somehow I got a crazy amount of money I would just buy them secondhand because every time I buy something new I damage it like the, like the, the minute I get it it always breaks something scratches or something like that whoa Korean restaurant okay well now I know it's here that looks good alright let's see all right doesn't seem like anything here so I'm gonna stop it and look for the uh, stop the video and look for the restaurant all right so it says um, I just need to keep going down the street the street is probably better if you um, came at night time because all these uh, stores would be open let me see Whoa, these are like all like um, commercial buildings. You can buy a cafe. Cafe, $200,000. $300 a month? Oh, but there's nothing inside. You can get a bar for $11 million. $11 million is like $100,000. I think that's, yeah, $11 million. And the rent is $600 a month for a bar. It doesn't look that great. You probably have to renovate the inside. Wow, look at these old. Wow, that's like 90s. So 2020, 20, like 200,000? 20 million? 1 million. What is this? 1 million. Oh, look at this Bentley. 1 million yen is like. 1 million yen is like $10,000? Dang, look at this Bentley. Wow. Wow, I didn't even see this. Look. Who is that? Is that the chef, right? It's E.T. Spielberg. What? Sylvester Stallone? I don't know who that is. Elvis? Whoa, what is this place? Okay. It's some sort of building. I don't know what they sell. Look at this. Sun Plaza. They must have a lot of, um, stuff here, like at night, you know? Like the shady bars, see? These look like, they look like shady, yeah. I don't know. It probably is though. Got a flower shop. Oh, look at this building. So, so retro. Is it retro or just old? Okay, Olive Spa. Panthen? I think the uh, restaurant should be around here. So at night, this is all gonna be lit up. Oh, here it is. The Thai restaurant. Ah, uh, Kapan Kap. Swati Kap. Okay, we're getting in here. Whoa. The inside looks pretty cool. Got some chips. This place, I don't know what it's called. Oh, they got a lot of good stuff here. Probably gonna get this chicken, chicken rice. They got that. Oh, that looks good. This looks pretty authentic. There's a lot of Thai people here. You know when it's authentic when there's Thai people. Oh, 
the steamed chicken. That's steamed chicken. This is. Okay. Alright. Oh, spring roll. Dang. <laughs> Alright, so I got the Thai style chicken and rice. And you get a bigger rice for 100 yen. And then you get more chicken for 200 yen. So I didn't get anything else. And that's all I got. So let's we'll see. This place is called Liu Terhua. Hua. Liu Terhua. So it just came out. Um, it looks like there's a lot of extra stuff. It's pretty. It looks pretty good. They even give you like the Japanese ginger, it's like chicken rice, but the real Thai rice, and then they give you some sort of um, soup broth. So this place is really good. I could sit out here too, but I wanted to sit out there actually, but he wouldn't let me. <laughs> the guy was really, um, the chef was really, uh, I don't want to say controlling, but I just, I was just asking if I can just shoot a video like where I'm sitting, and he thought I was, I was trying to make a video in the kitchen, and I'm like, no, 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 he didn't even want that. I'm not trying to go in the kitchen. Maybe some people come and ask. Anyways, there's a foreign girl behind me. I think she was American. She could have been Canadian. Oh, this is the club. The pink. I've heard about this. Um, it's a crazy building. So, I don't know. The girl was just going on and on about how she's an artist and all of that. Oh, they probably get those clothes and those girls probably wear it to the clubs, the people that work there, the dancers. Oh, wow, I've never been back here. But anyways, she was just going on and on about how she's an artist and yada, yada, yada. She was just doing all the talking. I think she was just drinking. I mean, she must, she's probably a nice girl, but you know, when you're like a foreigner, Especially like a non-Asian foreigner, like like me, for like a white foreigner, I think you just get so used to people asking you like so many questions, and you're kind of like the focal point of the conversation. That I feel like people's egos. Oh, the moon's out. I feel like people's egos grow, and then they just get used to it, and all they do is just talk about themselves. I've met a lot of um, foreigners who do that actually. Just talk about themselves so much. They don't even care. They don't even care to know about the other person. Whoa, look at that building. An electric bike. Some sort of bar.
Meat Club. Okay. Oh, there's Don Quixote. All right, so right now I'm gonna go to a shrine. I think that might be interesting. There's a famous shrine here, and they close at five. What is that? Is that like plus-sized women? They even have like them pinching their fat. Oh, this is this is like a shady street too. Best price. I don't know what that is. There's a there's a lot of cool clubs on here too. Man, my breath smells so bad. So that sauce. That girl look really young. And that guy look really old. All right. Oh, karaoke. This is like asking for it in the middle of the city. He's asking for his trouble. All right. So, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the food. The food was pretty good. Um, it was pretty authentic The guys were all the cooks in the back were of Thai um, All the waitresses waitresses were Thai so Everything was really authentic just except for The Japanese like they give some ginger oh, Here it is over here now it's the monkey show
about the show because last time they had that monkey show at that same spot it was a man I'm not sure if it's the same monkey but um there were some problems and and it looked like uh, I don't know <laughs> there were some problems with the monkey last time with um with the guy but um this time I don't know if they do it for suspense but it seems like for to me it seemed like the monkey didn't want to do it but maybe it's part of the act I'm not sure I don't know how I feel about people um, taking these macaw monkeys from their natural habitat and making them do tricks and they're not like these I don't think they're like professional professional trainers they're just like regular street performers so uh, I don't know anyways um, I'm gonna go to the shrine now I'm gonna end the video here um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please look out for the next video. Um, I'm gonna go to the shrine and then walk around some more over here. So um, thank you for watching and goodbye.